good you guys it's dj dan here we're back again once again and today people today i said sorry last time for missed uploads this actually might be going up on friday because i can't upload pokemon the other pokemon so uh i have these wi-fi battles uh this is being pre-recorded this is the last one i'm pre-recording then i'm gonna go do other stuff but 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 but, but you guys I don't know whether or not you want live Wi-Fi battles or if you want this type of Wi-Fi battle where I do the battle and then I go over it. Let me know in the comment section below of this video or the other video. Um, I really need you guys to come through for this because, like, you guys are the people. I want the people to have some control over what I do because otherwise it's just, like, it's boring and it's like, I don't want to see this. Well, let me know. Don't just leave a dislike. Don't, don't just leave a dislike. If you don't like the video, dislike it. You know, I'm, I'm preaching freely here. You guys can dislike the video, but hit the like button now, and then if you watch the video and you don't like the video, dislike it then, okay? Okay, we clear? Thank you. Anyway, uh, thanks out to Brayden for battling me. This is a really good battle, guys. You are in for a treat. Uh, these two last bat Wi-Fi battles I did watch uh, last night. There are 17 turns in this, so this is going to be a really short video. Now we have Glyscore. This is a very good core because I can't get touched by a normal type move. I have immunities to normal fighting. I have an and one to uh, uh, lightning. No electric type attack. So that was intended for the Verizon. I forgot it was a rotation battle for a second, but I did flinch and it did come in handy. Now you're probably like, why are you carrying a Toxic Orb? I'm Poison Heal. So I go for the Sludge Bomb. I have nothing. Uh, on my best team, guys, I just realized I have nothing to take on a water type. That is a really big weakness. It's like, I don't have anything to take on a water type. Honestly, I, I, I was pretty much stacking this thing off, you know, because he's not going to live anything. Except for, it went for retaliate, probably thinking I was going to go out into the thing. So I go for Sludge Bomb again, just in case he stays in. Now this doesn't do anything, and I realized it wasn't going to do anything. And that's going to take out our Gengar, unfortunately. Which, oh, we live on two, I forgot about that. I watched that yesterday. So I keep it around just because I knew he was going to go for Earthquake to finish me off. Anyway, Gengar did have Levitate. But it doesn't really matter, I decided to switch. So he goes for Lava Bloom here. I can't switch in either one of them because otherwise they'll both die. We eat it up and I go for the Toxic. Uh, this set is Ice Fang, Toxic, Protect, and Earthquake for Stab. I have no flying type attacks, which I guess you could say is good and bad. My Gengar is a full of offensive Gengar. It has Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball. It is Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball. Uh, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, and then, what else does it have? It has Dazzling Gleam. So I go into hit Gengar, knowing he'll outspeed, and I finish this thing off. GG no re. So, this thing goes out. I'm having a mint, guys. It's green apple. Hashtag thank you, icebreakers. Anywho, it's turn 8 of 17. He sets up the Drizzle, which is very good for that Kyogre, which kind of scares me. Now, I do carry the Thunderbolt, so I go for it here. It's super effective. Honestly, the only reason I kept the Gengar around was for it. He goes for the Hydro Pump and misses. The only reason I'm keeping this Gengar around is for Death Fodder. Because really, he's not good for anything else right now, because he's, like, dead. Now, if we would have dodged that... Hydro Bomb, the battle would could have gone, like, so much differently. But it doesn't matter, because as you just saw, I have Zoroark here, which is a very good Pokemon. Honestly, I have nothing to hit this Politoed. It is another water type. Luckily, the Night Days lowers his accuracy as he decides to go for the Icy Wind. So, he does reveal Icy Wind. I knew he got that, which is why I didn't want to switch right into Gligar to Ice Wing or anything like that. But I knew he was going to switch, so I decided to switch with him and see what he was going to do, because I was scared. And he did go into the Kyogre get the rain boosted. The rain boosted thing. So I go for the Ice Fang here, hoping for another flinch. I don't really have anything to touch it, but I get the freeze instead, and it is insane. Now you could say, guys, I'm just winning this game by hacks. By them missing and me, like, landing my moves. 
Honestly, I could have gone out into Zorark. But honestly, Zorark can't touch either of them. So I decided just to go for the Earthquake. You know, it's not going to do much. But the poison damage, I feel like an Ice Fang will kill. And I think that's what I go for. Because I have the poison heal. So I can eat up a lot of hits and just go for Protect to keep recovering damage. So... He goes for the Lava Plume, poss possibly predicting me to switch into Lucario, but I'm not stupid. And the Ice Wing does KO. With a crit, it does KO the ground arm. Now, you guys are probably like, wow, you're doing a really good job for someone fighting legends. And I'm saying to those people, thank you. If you're one of those people who's like, oh, you're a loser. You only win because of, like, hacks and luck. Forget you. You can think whatever you want to think. I don't care. So, I feel like we are going to do another one, uh, another episode here for you guys. Honestly, uh, all that's left is a Politoed, and I can easily take him out with an Earthquake. Now, you're probably like, why would you stay in if you knew it had Ice Wind? I knew I outspeeded, and I didn't think it was going to live an Earthquake. Which, as we told, it didn't. So, GG to Brand Brandon, Brandy. Let's see, what is another good battle? I only save really good battles. This, I believe, is a really good battle. So, we're going to watch this. I hope it's not too long. It's only 12 turns, so we're going to watch it. Saturn. I actually did not watch this one before, so I don't know what's going to happen. Now, I go on to my Arcanine first, because he's my Intimidator. So, goodbye physical attackers. Now, I switch out because I fare like an Earthquake or anything, and I go on to Gliscor. And unfortunately, he goes for the rock slide. Which, honestly, it's not super effective or even effective because I think ground resists it. And then he sets up a swords dance. And I'm like, I cannot let this happen. So I go for the ice fang. Uh, I did check it afterwards. And what I should have gone for was I should have gone for earthquake. Honestly, guys, I'm very stupid with typings. I don't know my typings, and apparently this guy doesn't either, since all he has is Sacred Sword. So I do go for the Earthquake this time, hoping it does a little bit more. And it almost KOs the Terrakion, but it does not get the job done. So he's going with Draw Terrakion. Honestly, I don't know why you would. I don't also don't know what this thing is either. Uh, any inappropriate things I cannot control, guys. I went for the Ice Fang, and honestly, it did much more than... See, I have to get out of here. I think I do. Oh, no, no, I go for Protect to see what he's going to go for. Because, honestly, he is my firewall. See, the thing about Gliscor is he is a very good firewall. Except for one problem. Charizard. And other and Talonflame. Because all he has is Ice Fang, which is not super effective on a fire type. And, honestly, I thought Gengar's special defense is its, like, second best straight. But he still gets destroyed by the Charizard. Now, I go for a Mega Gengar here, which I don't know why I run Mega Gengar. It's really terrible. You know, I don't think I'm going to live this one. No. I lived it, and I go for a Thunderbolt. See, I thought I was going to die, so I thought, forget it, and Mega Evolve to get that extra boost up. And that uh, boost actually helped me kill him. So, I do have Shadow Tag, which is good and bad, because now it can't switch out. He was on one hit point. He shouldn't have saved it. So now I have one Pokemon left. And you guys are probably like, well, no, your stats didn't change. Your stats didn't change because... Your stats didn't change because it wasn't... It, 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 it doesn't move until the next turn. Now, I agree. I know this now. Now I know that your stats don't change until the next turn. But I want to think that something gave me an extra boost. Maybe it was just max damage. I forgot it was a dragon type. Sorry guys, I'm an idiot. I'm wondering if this thing is banded or something because it randomly goes for dragon pulse. Now, maybe that's just because it doesn't want to miss anything, but I do get the intimidate drop, which is very good. Uh, two turns left, guys. You know, just so it's not like, oh my gosh. And he tries to set up the dragon dances on me, which makes me wonder why, because why doesn't he just kill me? You know, I don't know, but I go for a banded flare blitz. This my Arcanine is banded, 
So I figure Flare Blitz is what's going to do the most damage. So I go for it. Uh, and he goes for the Dragon Ascent. And with a D-Dance up from right now, I don't think I'm going to live that. I live it, I do, and he loses his defense stat, and I think... No, 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 because he has Airlock. Not Airlock, what's it called? Delta Stream. But it is enough. It's not very effective, but it does not matter. Because of that defense drop, it just... It, 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 he couldn't handle the fire. And we still live. The recoil didn't even kill us. We still live. So that was a very good battle as well. We have all these other battles. Uh, whether or not I'm going to do all of them, I do not know. I do not know. You know, I don't know what feedback you guys are going to get from this battle. I'm just showing them off right now. I don't know what feedback you're going to give for this episode, whether or not you want me to do live. So I'm going to stop pre-recording right now. This battle is intense and insane. I'd show that battle except for it would be an entire episode because it's like 40 turns of hacks. If you guys can't tell, that's my hacks team. I have, like, Confuse Ray, Hypnosis, Dream Eater on that. Uh, you guys already saw what he can do. That's, uh, made for Explosion. That's made for a Thunder Wave Headbutt, you know. But anyway, you guys, I am gonna go back to my own home screen. I'm gonna get off my bike and show... Nope, you guys are gonna get to see me flying away. Thank you guys for checking out the video. You guys know me, DJ Daniel, and I ride Latiases. And if you couldn't tell, it's because I prefer Alpha Sapphire to Omega Ruby. Thank you guys for checking out the video, and goodbye! Can I do a backflip? No, 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 back, no. I don't... No. How do you... There we go! Backflip! Da-na!